Namaste and welcome in. In this video, we are going to be talking about what should you do once you receive your crystals. Now, those could be your bracelet formats or those could be your space cleansers or energizers like some kind of uh, towers or your clusters. So, what should you be doing once you receive these crystals? It is kind of a three-step routine out of which you'll have to continue uh, doing your first two steps more often. So, once you receive your crystals, the step one is to cleanse it. So, there are multiple ways you can cleanse it. Uh, you can simply take a bowl of salt or salt water, place your crystals inside it uh, about from 3 to 4 hours to 12 hours. However, a lot of crystals are not to be uh, kept in water. So, please study about it like selenite. You cannot dip it in water. You cannot... Uh, I mean it doesn't even require the largest composition it is made with is salt so such crystals you cannot dip in water in that case so uh, and by the way selenite does not even need a cleansing like that so uh, another way of cleansing is smudge it with a great incense uh, use away natural incense you can use something like a palo santo stick or sage if not any incense that you like but if you're allergic to incense or any other kind of fragrance uh, you can put it simply in a bowl of salt uh, another way of cleansing is uh, put it in sunlight all right uh, some people uh, keep their pots uh, by pots i mean uh, your garden pots uh, and they bury the bracelets in soil for a while uh, however it requires a lot of cleansing after you take them out uh, as in cleaning of the mud and uh, second step so once it is cleansed step number two is to energize it now by saying energizing you're basically giving some positive energy to your crystal so you can do multiple things to energize you can uh, you, you can use mantra chantings on top of it you can use uh, some kind of sound therapy on that or you can simply use the power of your gratitude or affirmation on your crystal that is one of the ways you energize your crystal and third is programming the third step is basically uh, keeping your crystal between both your palms and telling that this is what I want manifested. So even if it is space clearing of my home to create uh, scores in my exam or my child's exam to attracting right kind of buyers for my business, uh, your reason could be any. In one crystal, please do not put a lot of things, but the third step is basically asking your crystal of what is it that you really wish coming out of it so third step is programming now after you've cleansed and energize your crystals you should keep it on your altar for a couple of days simply so that it keeps receiving more energy uh, and find out a beautiful day when you can wear your crystals or place your crystals wherever you want them to so you can choose any of the new moons or full moons to take your crystal out and start wearing it another question that I usually receive is should I wear my crystal on left hand or should I wear my crystal on right hand for that I'll be making another video it might come to you in one or two weeks so please uh, look out watch out for that video but for now I hope you understood the three steps to follow once you receive your crystals number one is cleansing post which you can place your crystals on your altar or some other uh, nice place in your home pick it up on a day when you would like to wear it so cleansing energizing happens before you wear it programming also happens before you wear it now what should you continue from time to time every full moon new moon cleanse your crystals again Alright, so cleanse and energize your crystals. Once you've cleansed them, you can put them in the moonlight for them to be energized. You can start chanting over them. You can put them on your altar and uh, give them the energy of altar. One more interesting way 
of energizing your crystal is uh, wherever you place it next to it you can light a ghee diya now i don't suggest using candles un unless they are organic or uh, they are soy wax candles i really don't believe in paraffin candles because uh, of course they are producing light but the kind of material is is toxic so i don't suggest using paraffin candles but uh, you can use soy wax candles you can use ghee diya for you to energize your crystals so cleansing energizing programming can happen only once and uh, if you wanted to reprogram your crystal just cleanse energize and put another programming and that's about it so if you have any further questions after looking at this video please reach out to me and i'll answer them for you in my group shri karya siddhi and if you've not yet joined uh, the community i invite you to come here visit be a part of this beautiful community and i look forward to having you there thank you so very much